This is Campus File with Development Platform. This is where we celebrate achievements in campuses, promote your activities, and unveil notable potentials in tertiary institutions world over. Today on the program, we have two schools in focus. First is Anambra State Polytechnic, Mbaku, and then we have Lens Polytechnic of Aquara State. Let's get to know all that's happening in these Nigerian institutions. I am Victor Emmanuel. Don't go away, I'll be right back. Cisco Networking Academy, in partnership with Durban Polytechnic Abuja, has opened applications and sales of form on the following professional trainings. Information Technology Essential, Introduction to Networking, Routing and Switching Essential, Wireless and Automation, Cybersecurity, Python Programming, Artificial Intelligence, Business and Administrative Management, Law, Health and Social Care. Other certificate trainings include Web Development, Computer Proficiency and Data Processing, Microcontroller Programming with Arduino. For more information, please contact Durban Polytechnic ICT Center, Buari Garam Road, FCT Abuja, or call 0805-394-4529 or 0809-260-4433. Durban Business School and Light Zone Office is located at Third Floor Cardomo, Amadou Belloué, Adjacent Naval Junior Officers Mess, Jahi FCT Abuja. Right here, we offer 100% hands-on practical with a well-equipped laboratory. Anambra State Polytechnic Mbaku, formerly known as Anambra State College of Agriculture, is located opposite Radio Nigeria Purity FM Mbaku, or Kanoff. Anambra State. It offers national diploma courses in Computer Science Technology, Business Administration and Management, Nutrition and Dietetics, Science Laboratory Technology, Computer Engineering and Technology, Animal Health and Production Technology, Accountancy and many more. For further inquiries, please call 0803-604-3706. Or 0806-399-0198. Anambra State Polytechnic, where we focus on technology for optimum productivity. The present day Anambra State Polytechnic Mbaku started over 30 years ago. Firstly, it was the School of Agriculture, established to train the staff of the Ministry of Agriculture. In 2007, it became Anambra State College of Agriculture, Mbaku, and in 2017, Anambra State Polytechnic, Mbaku. On attaining a polytechnic status in 2017, after being accredited by the National Board for Technical Education, the institution has been a fully functional polytechnic in four different schools. Dr. Neka Mefo is the rector of this institution. The history of the polytechnic dated back to 1978, where it was started as a school of agriculture for in-service training of staff of Ministry of Agriculture. Then two years later, it was upgraded to a college of agriculture, then at Ebarium. The institution trained so many staff of the Ministry of Agriculture and other ministries. It existed there until 2007, when it was relocated to Mbapo to make way for the takeoff of Anambra State University, Ibarian campus. So in 2007, the Anambra State government repealed the law establishing the institution at Ibarian and established Anambra State College of Agriculture, Mbapo Law, 2007. 2007. And from 2007 until 2017, the institution grew from strength to strength, from one academic program to 
2004 in 2017. The Anambra State College of Agriculture Law 2007 was repealed and a new law established. That is the Anambra State Polytechnic Mbapu Law 2017. That's how the institution came into existence. It is still in the same premises of the former College of Agriculture and occupying the facilities of the former College of Agriculture in addition to other facilities to make it a polytechnic. With the recent emphasis on technical skills and the mantra of the Executive Secretary for the National Board for Technical Education, skills not degrees. Anambra State Polytechnic Mbaku has keyed into this vision by ensuring that its students are skilled and equipped for the market and not merely having their certificates as proofs of their abilities. There can be no polytechnic if there are no skills. I was uh, in the meeting where the executive secretary exerted the skills, not certificate program at Abuja. And everything he said there were well noted. Because in an State Polytechnic, our emphasis is skills, not just the certificate. We need the certificate as evidence that we actually attended social and social school. But we need the skills to make a living. It is not the certificate that gives the person the food on the table. It is the skill that the person has acquired, which the certificate shows. So my take is that the executive secretary is on the right track. I've already done a proposal to the incoming government of Anambra State on the skills, not certificate issue. Here in Anambra State Polytechnic, though a young institution, but our emphasis is on skills. We have our classroom work, we have our workshop work, we have our laboratory work, and then we have the farm work for those in agriculture and related disciplines. One thing that stands Anambra State Polytechnic Mbaku out is its focus in agricultural education, production and marketing. With different structures and facilities in place, it has been able to train its students in this area, hence generating revenue for themselves. What you see inside the school is demonstration facilities. Because in training, especially in the field of agriculture, you have the demonstration, you have the commercial aspect. For teaching students, we use the demonstration farms around. You can see them, we are off season because this is dry season. You can see the cassava farms, you can see the uh, orchard, you can see the palms and so on. During the rainy season, you see the maize farm, the vegetable gardens and other crops. Then in other fields of agriculture, you can see the fish pond over there. We have four different types of fish pond in the polytechnic. We have the eating pond, where you just dig the ground and raise your fishes there. We have the concrete pond. We have the collapsible, the, the other plastic uh, vats, which you can move around. And then we have the collapsible vats, which means even if you're a tenant, you can train yourself, get trained on how to uh, raise fish. You just buy your collapsible vats, put it at the corner of your house. When you're moving to another location, you collapse it and go. So we have four different facilities for training. These ones are mainly for training the students. Then for our commercial production, we have a farm outside this place because we cannot constrain ourselves to what we have alone. We normally get land outside the school where the students go and do commercial production. In the classroom, we teach them the basis of agriculture. As you're talking about agriculture, we teach them the basic, the fundamentals. Then in the uh, demonstration farm, we teach them the practical aspects. Then in the commercial farm, we teach them how to make money out of agriculture. The relationship between the management, staff, and students of this institution has been a peaceful one right from when it was established to date. We have had peaceful student management relationship over the years. We've always had peaceful student union you know, election, one uh, to the other, from one to the other, and they have been very cooperative. In terms of the staffing, we have some categories of staff 
you know, just, let's say, not like the one you have in a regular polytechnic. Because we are still in a transition, we have staff, direct polytechnic staff, we have those from various MBAs and so on. And the relationship has been very cordial. Everybody has been contributing his or her bit for the growth of this young institution. Otherwise, the institution wouldn't have grown to the level it is today. So we have experienced peaceful relationship between the staff and the students over the years. Anambra State Polytechnic is not left out of global trends as it is ICT driven in its activities. It has annexed this medium for information dissemination, lectures and assessments. Some years ago, as a College of Agriculture, we had sponsorship from TED Fund before the Colleges of Agriculture were delisted. And the first thing that we applied for was an ICT center. It was granted to us. TED Fund sponsored the establishment of the ICT center over there. Some of the facilities are, are still there. Then we also have our e-library. It is directly beside uh, this office. If you go to the e-library, you see the facilities. Do not as big as you have in universities and polytechnics that are old. But we have something that will help the students and staff to grow in terms of using the internet or being uh, able to search and search. Then it may interest you that of late, we have entered into a relationship with an ICT company to assist all academic staff in the school. Because we cannot talk about ICT for students without talking about ICT for staff. It is the staff that teach and coach the students. So we have entered into a partnership with an ICT uh, company to provide what they call a good teacher-student relationship. Anambra State Polytechnic Mbaku, through the pioneer public relations officer, has had to expand its communication horizon, both online and offline, to different institutions and organizations. The pioneer public relations officer, Mr. Chikwanu Sande, uses every means within his reach, both online and offline, to attract prospective clients to this institution. I've been able to go online and I've met people one on one, and uh, I have many social media handles which I use to sell the poly uh, polytechnic and uh, to market the brand. Running with a major focus on practical and technical education, this citadel of learning has groomed its students to be employers of labor after school rather than job seekers, thereby enhancing the economic growth and development of the country. Even though when I finish studying, I can start up my own cooperative organization. I've seen that they have qualified lecturers. Anambra State Polytechnic Mbaku, an institution that focuses on technology for productivity. Lens Polytechnic offer established in the year 2016 is a fully accredited polytechnic in Offa, Kwara State. It offers national diploma and higher national diploma courses in accountancy, business administration and management, computer science, computer engineering, mass communication, graphics design and advertising, multimedia technology and many more. For further inquiries, please call 0806 555-2194 or 0706-640-1958. Lens Polytechnic, where skills, knowledge, and ethics is a mantra. Lens Polytechnic is a polytechnic incorporated in Nigeria by the same management that owns and runs Lens School of Management offer which is an innovation enterprise institution. Lens Polytechnic is an expansion from Lens School of Management and Technology. The school was established on 20th April 2012. Lens Polytechnic was founded by Aziz Sabukola and Abdulaziz Ishak. It was accredited duly by the National Board for Technical Education. Lens Polytechnic started in 2012. That's uh, exactly 10 years ago. So we started as an innovative educational institution. So the concept of innovative educational institution is to have a specialized institution that can 
developed manpower for direct absorption to industries because what you learn in innovative educational institution is going to be a specialized one. For example, under computer science, it's very broad. But when you are running it under innovative educational institution, you'll be able to specialize on either hardware engineering, software engineering, telecommunication, technology, networking, and system securities. So those are the four broad courses that we selected under our IAI because of our flair to develop ICT. So that was why we picked ICT and we started with those four courses under IAI. But as time goes on, we'll be able to develop to a full-fledged polytechnic. So we got approval for a full-fledged polytechnic in 2016. That's barely six years ago. And God has been on our side since then. We started with eight students, 24 lecturers. You can imagine how to really survive, but with determination, perseverance, and hard working, we've been able to at least surpass that level. As currently, we have over 60 lecturers. Yes, and over 40 of them are from MSc and above. We don't base everything on the academic performance. We look at other criteria like uh, how the experience, how the lecturer is composes or ourselves because the first thing if they apply, we just have to subject them to some kind of uh, aptitude test. It may be written, it may be CBT, then after that we'll call them for an interview. So during the interview that is when the person will showcase whatever quality he or she have. So far the journey has been a hectic one. But the drive to keep pushing is the vision of a greater future ahead. It has not been easy to actually cope with finances since there is no support from any government establishment and you know the bottleneck in taking loans even from bank these days. It's been very very hectic but you know when you have a vision, when you have a dream, you know what is actually driving us in Lens Polytechnic is beyond uh, you know, it's a long time vision, you know, that drives us. And they said, vision seeks the invisible, it believes the incredible, it achieves the impossible. So, how we are doing it is just the vision that is driving us. One thing that stands Lens Polytechnic out is its affordable fees. Worthy of note is the institution focuses on the practical skills of its students, just in line with the mantra of the Executive Secretary of the National Board for Technical Education, which is skills, not degrees. Today, skill is the global currency of labor, and therefore we need to change the whole, we have to rejig, re-engineer, reinvent our tertiary educational system and refocus it on skills. Even those doing degrees and HND, we cannot stop them. Let them graduate with at least one skill, one life skill. If you can't get employment, white collar job, that skill may be your savior. So the emphasis today should be more on skills rather than degrees. We also make sure that we develop our skills, that the skills we give to the student. Because if you look at the conventional educational institution, it's majorly on uh, theoretical and this theory cannot take us to the promised land so we actually developed our students in the area of practicals so that when they graduate they will be easily absorbed some stakeholders should normally visit the schools and see what we have done but with the student will do it for them and uh, thereby making them to be self-employed to depend on themselves not to depend on white collar job not forgetting the equipment facilities available for learning and the serene environment it has lens is unique in several ramifications uh, number one the target market we are not like other private institutions the target is on the rich people's children but our target market is the downtrodden because we believe everybody should be given the opportunity to have sound education. Our school fees is just 35,000 Naira, and that has attracted a lot of uh, students into the campus. We make our school fees to be the lowest, as we charge 35,000 per semester for each student. And we gave them the grace that 
you can pay it two times. As soon as you are resuming to the section, you make payments, you can pay 20,000. And before the exams, you make sure you balance your school fees. We have a lot of equipment. As I will be taking you around, you see we've invested so much on acquisition of equipment that can make our students to compete favorably in Nigerian uh, economic sector. So that's another hedge for us in Lens Polytechnic. Again, we have a very serene environment. That's another plus to us. Then sport activities, both indoor games and outdoor games. The major challenge facing this institution is the availability of finance. Amidst all this, it still strives to be ahead against all odds. The major challenge is finance. You know, it's been very, very difficult for private institutions to compete favorably in the system. We have all the management skills, we have the manpower, we have the to-do spirit. But you know, we are limited, we are constrained by the availability of finance. The Nigerian government, sorry to say, they only focus on public institutions. They, they've neglected the private institution. And when you ask, you know, they keep telling you that it's not a private, you are out there to actually make your profit. They have forgotten that we're actually developing Nigerian youth to be youthful to the development of Nigerian economy. It's far better for government to look into the development of these youth rather than spending trillions of naira in curbing kidnappers, curbing Boko Haram, curbing all these social vices. If you look inward and catch them young, develop all these skills, skills and give them the skills and innovation so that when they graduate they'll be able to set up on their own you know be useful to themselves and to the economy as a whole so government should look at it as if we're also contributing we're also helping the economy they shouldn't be looking at it from the profit angle how much profit are we making if i want to run a single accreditation the accreditation fee, the equipment we are going to acquire, there is none, no, none of the accreditation I've done that cost me less than 50 million. And just last year, 2021 alone, we did three, meaning that we have spent 150 million. From the school fees we are collecting, 35,000 naira per student. In the next 10 years, we cannot recover only accreditation fee. So that's why government should look at it. If they cannot give us state fund, we are not begging them, we are not asking them to give us free money since we are private, but give us in form of a loan, interest-free loan, and parade it for us five years, 10 years, so that we return the money. So with this, one of our greatest problems will be solved. I will be able to buy a state-of-the-art equipment to compete favorably with all the federal institutions in the country. As an accredited institution, Lens Polytechnic offers a variety of courses leading to an award of National Diploma or Higher National Diploma Certificate. Mrs. Adekai Medina is the rector of this institution. In uh, National Diploma, that is the ND level, we have Science Laboratory Technology, Computer Science, Statistics, Library and Information Science. We have Hospitality Management, Food Technology. Then we, in School of Management, we have Mass Communication, Biz Admin, and we also have Accountancy. Then in the School of Engineering, we have Electrical and Electronics, which is divided into two. We have the Power Telecom Technology. Then we also have Computer Engineering for the Engineering aspect. And for the HND level, we have our SLT side is science, library technology, statistics, we have computer science, we have mass com, we also have biz admin, accountancy, and electrical electronics, which is divided into power and machine and telecom technology. Over time, the relationship between staff and students of this institution is cordial. The peaceful coexistence has bred a positive learning environment for all. Any students that have any issues or any challenges, they come here to my office. They arrange with their games, we honor them, we try our best to the best ability to solve those problems for them. The ones that are related to the school management, we assist them for that and really support them. Coming to history. In the beginning of our administration, we have promised 
to create a cordial relationship between the students and the school management. In lieu to this, we have tried to make sure we give we identify the problems facing the students through the school management, and we've promised to make sure it is going accordingly to make sure they are having a better stay and a good conduct with the school staffs and the school management and themselves. Lens Polytechnic, where skills, knowledge and ethics is a mantra. Yes, the schools we spotlighted were Anambra State Polytechnic Mbaku and Lens Polytechnic of Aquara State. This is where we get to call it a wraps on the program today. Your school can also participate in this experience by taking notes of the contact on your screen. You can also invite us for your professional media coverage, trainings and ceremonies. Please don't forget to subscribe, follow and like us on all our social media platforms. Until we come your way again, same time, same station, I am Victor Emmanuel.